Well, howdy there. You must be ready for a Fletch movie review from Tom Richardson. Well, my name is Erwin Fletcher, and I'm going to be hosting this movie review instead for you today, all right? Well, I guess without further ado, the movie Fletch is right here. And Well, I guess my time's over with. I see Tom Richardson right over there, but you enjoy your good day now, and you enjoy, you know, the, your time with Erwin Fletcher. That's me right there once again, but Tom Richardson's going to review this for you. So hey guys, um, as you can tell by my little skit, I guess you could call that, um, the character of Irwin Fletcher, played by Chevy Chase in the movie Fletch, uh, likes to take on multiple different disguises to be able to uncover a story that he always does for his investigative journalist job that he does for a newspaper. So that is the movie I'm going to review for you, for you guys today, is the first Fletch movie right here. Fletch Lives will be in a later review, but the very first Fletch is going to be the film I review for you today. So in this movie, you guys, it's based off a book, uh, a series of books, I should say. There's a whole series of Fletch books. But in this first Fletch movie, um, Erwin Fletcher is trying to cover a story about drug trafficking on a California beach. And uh, while he's doing that, this guy pulls him aside and offers him basically this money offer of a lifetime. He says, you know, all you got to do is come over to my house. Even if you turn down the proposal, you'll still get money for it. Uh, just listen to what I have to say when you come to my house. So Erwin goes there. And um, this guy basically tells him that he's dying of bone cancer, that his wife has left him. He's basically telling him all this really tragic stuff that's going on in his life. And he says, all you have to do is show up this one day on this later week. Um, you'll have the gun. I'll have the gun laid out for you. You know, I'll tell you exactly where I'm going to be sitting, what I'm going to be doing. All you have to do is shoot me, uh, make sure that I'm dead, uh, take the money out of the safe. And then I also have, along with that money... Um, an airport ticket of some kind that will basically fly him away to a safe place, kind of let the crime scene die out for a little bit, and then go back home, continue his life. So Erwin takes the, as I should say, they call him Fletch throughout the movie, as the title suggests. So Fletch basically takes this offer, and um, he basically wants to look into this guy before this night happens. Um, you know, it is a lot of money. He's kind of in debt himself. Um, the IRS is kind of after him. There's this character that shows up both in this movie and in the sequel that's kind of always after Fletch for money. Um, so he really does kind of need the money, so he does go for the job. But what he's doing until that day happens where he has to so quote-unquote kill this man is he is looking into this guy, kind of seeing who he is, what his background is. <clears throat> is he really as rich as the house makes him look and stuff like that? Uh, so he looks into him. He's not dying of bone cancer. He's he is married, he's kind of in a way separated, but he's not as tragically separated as he told Fletch. Um, so basically, Fletch is trying to realize there's things about this guy that he wasn't being completely honest about. Is Fletch going to still go through with it? Should he meet the wife? Should he meet other friends and family? So throughout the course of Fletch, he's taking on all these disguises, really making sure that if he does kill this guy and go through with this murder, is it going to be worth it? Is he really going to get caught? Is the guy kind of setting him up for something? So that's something that Erwin Fletcher has to discover over the course of the movie Fletch. So overall, guys, I really like this movie a lot. I feel kind of disappointed in myself for kind of waiting as long as I did. Um, I'm 28 years old, and it took me till the 28 years to get around to seeing the movie Fletch. I've seen tons of Chevy Chase classics before. You know, Vacation's one of his better ones. Uh, but Fletch is definitely high up there. It's probably in his top five of some of the best films he's ever worked on, I would say. Um, I really like this movie a lot, so let's go over some, over some positives and negatives of what I liked so much about Fletch. So my positives for the movie Fletch is I really like the character of Erwin Fletch. I, I think he's a very interesting character. I like all the disguises he takes on. Um, Chevy Chase is very funny in this movie. They give him a lot of really good material to work with in this movie. I just like this character. I like this idea of this investigative journalist who kind of takes on cases as he will while still doing big stories for the newspaper. Maybe not as maybe he's not meeting his deadline as close as his boss wants him to and stuff like that. And they do go over that over the course of this movie, how his boss kind of is always after him on certain stories and Fletch is kind of putting that aside while he's taking on personal stuff that could also make good, good stories for that newspaper and stuff. So I just really like this character. There's just things about him that is just typical Fletch. There's just things about him that you'll catch on to right away that are definitely Fletch-isms that are specific to just this character himself. So I really like this character that they use in this movie. 
The musical score is also very catchy in this movie. Um, when the Fletch music plays, you know that you're watching Erwin Fletch. So that really is a big achievement in music is to really have kind of a theme and a song and a score that matches one single character over a course of one movie. And huge, you know, huge bravo to the musical score person who was able to accomplish this in Fletch. And then going over Erwin Fletch again, I like all the fun, goofy disguises that he has in this movie. Um, I don't know if it's featured on this DVD at all, but um, it's not... Oh, actually, no, it is kind of... It is, but it's, it's very, very small. This character right here, he's kind of like this um, airplane mechanic person. I, I don't even remember exactly what his, the character was supposed to be, but he basically, like, fixes airplanes. He's supposed to be, like, this know-it-all about it and stuff. Very funny scene. They definitely play it out very well. Um, probably one of my favorite Fletch disguises over the course of this film and Fletch Lives when I go over that one. Um, just really fun, goofy disguises that they gave the character of Fletch over the course of this movie. I also like the blend of comedy and mystery and suspense that this film contains. It's not completely dark, it's not completely comedic, it kind of finds a fine middle line between both. I like how Fletch manages to achieve that feeling in its own genre. I also like the unique look this film has on investigative journalism. Um, it really does kind of make that job look really intriguing, but just based on how interesting the movie Fletch makes it look. Um, I like how Chevy Chase still, it's kind of a blend of his personal life and his job that, for this lifestyle that he lives. Um, there's, you know, there's times where it's basically just his job and times where it's just his personal life, and there's kind of a blend of both every once in a while. So I like how the film has a unique look on that. Um, there's also some fun side characters in this. Uh, Fletch's boss is a fun character. Gina Davis has a role in this movie. She's kind of this um, handy journalist person that Fletch goes to to kind of look up stuff and look into backgrounds, uh, look into old newspaper articles about certain people, which becomes helpful with the villain of the movie and stuff. Um, so just some fun side characters. I like Gina Davis's character. Just fun characters that were used in this movie overall. For my negatives of Fletch, though, I thought the overall story setup felt very random and vague. It just kind of felt like, hey, you seem like the kind of person that would be interested in this. Come over here and I'll tell you all about it. They do kind of go over why Fletch was specifically chosen for this murder setup. But at the beginning, it just feels very random, very vague. It almost feels like it kind of belongs to a different movie at first. Um, so I thought the story setup for this movie was a little bit too random, a little too vague for its own good. This is also a very loose story. There's tons of scenes where Erwin Fletch just gets to, Erwin Fletcher, I should say, uh, gets a little too much time to just goof around and get to know people and use different disguises, use different kind of things to get certain information out of people. There's just so many scenes that they're kind of just let him do his own thing for a little bit that it's just kind of like, okay, let's get back to the story and get back on track here. But overall, you know, I like the story. I felt it was just a little too loose at times, though. There's also some occasional flat jokes in this movie. There's tons of great jokes in this movie, but there's tons of jokes that kind of don't work in this movie, too. But like I said, there's just tons of things in this movie to enjoy and love, and I can't recommend Fletch more than I can right now. Um, I'm going to give Fletch a 9 out of 10. I think it's a great movie. I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen Fletch like I just recently did, re definitely recommend seeing this for the first time if you haven't yet. Um, highly recommend Fletch. Very good movie, and I'll see you guys back here for Fletch Lives.